friends, I'm Kanishka Shri from grade 9B, here to tell you a few things about plasma membrane. Plasma membrane is also known as cell membrane or plasma lemma. It has two different names. It is a limited boundary of cell which separates the cytoplasm from its surrounding. From inside, it separates from the cytoplasm and from outside, it separates from other cells in our body. It is found both in plant cell and animal cell. It is the outermost covering in case of animal cell. In case of plant cell, it is below the cell wall and it is made up of two things, proteins and lipids. The proteins are kept in between the bilayer of lipids. The plasma membrane is a selectively permeable membrane in nature. It permits or allows the entry and exit of materials inside and outside the cell. And it's the main function also. What is it? Some materials getting inside and outside. Singer and Nicholson gave the fluid mosaic model of plasma membrane. Singer and Nicholson, both of them are biologists and fluid mosaic model is nothing but we might have heard about the mosaic tiles. It is like a collage work fully with different colors. But those tiles are solid. Fluid means it is in the liquid state. So they both have called them as fluid mosaic model. According to them, it consists of a protein layer sandwiched between two layers of lipid. It's nothing but it is kept between two layers of lipids. It is a quasi-fluid state. Quasi-fluid state is nothing but it is semi-fluid, semi-solid. It is flexible and can be folded, broken and reunited. It is nothing but it is flexible. The plasma membrane is flexible. If it is broken also, it can join together. It has the capacity to join together. So we'll move on to the next slide. So now we can see that here there is a picture of plasma membrane. The head-like structures on top yellow color ones are called as the lipids and the blue color ones are called as the protein channel. These are known as in the lipids, the head part, the yellow color part where my pointer is there, it is known as the head and this one is known as the tail. The black two strips here, these are known as the tail. This head is a water loving uh, part and this is water hating. Always this process is followed in our body. All the water loving parts are near the water, are surrounded with water. And the water hating parts are not surrounded with water. The rest of the terms will be learned in our further higher classes. Functions of plasma membrane. It regulates the movement of molecules inside and outside the cell. It helps in mailing the distinct composition of the cell. As I told you in the first point, its main function is to let molecules inside and outside the cell. So now we'll move on to the transportation of molecules across plasma membrane. It is nothing but transportation of molecules across plasma membrane is moving of moving of molecules inside and outside the plasma membrane. So they have two, we have two different ways. They are diffusion and osmosis. We'll see detailed with definition now. Diffusion, the movement of solutes or ions from the higher concentration to the lower concentration is called diffusion. It does not require any kind of energy. So in this medium, diffusion, air can pass through. And for water, we have a special process called osmosis. The movement of solvent or water from higher concentration to the lower concentration 
through semi permeable membrane this is very very important semi permeable membrane is called osmosis osmosis can also be called as diffusion of solvents now we are taking a sugar solu solution in that we are ha we are taking 10 g of sugar and 100 ml of water the larger quantity in a solution is called solvent so here it is water so we can tell that diffusion of waters or water also diffusion of solvent or diffusion of water now i would like to add two extra terms here endomosis and exomosis they are nothing but moving of solvent into the cell is called endomosis it's nothing but moving of carbon dioxide or oxygen inside the cell is called endomosis and exomosis is nothing but coming outside from the cell the material is coming outside like carbon dioxide is coming out of the cell and that particular process is called exomosis now we'll see three types of solution isotonic solution hypotonic solution and hypotonic solution so first we will see isotonic solution when the concentration of the solution outside the cell and inside the cell of the cytoplasm of the cell is called isotonic solution so in this we can tell that the concentration of a particular solution is uh, is same outside and inside the cell in a particular place cytoplasm if these both are there no change will occur and this process is called isotonic solution hypotonic solution when the concentration of the solution outside the cell is more than the cell inside due to this cell loses water thus the cell shrinks so we'll see the concentration outside is more and concentration inside the cell in the cytoplasm is less so what happens the water rushes outside the cell and what happens the when the amount of water reduces the cell shrinks that particular process is called hypertonic solution now we'll move on to the hypotonic solution when the concentration of the solution outside the cell is lesser than that of cytoplasm of the cell inside the cell is called hypotonic solution due to this the cell swells up and bursts so what happens when the concentration of the cell outside is lesser all the mo molecules outside come inside the cell i mean the cytoplasm it comes and settles in the cytoplasm and when the amount of water increases inside the cell what happens the cell swells up or at times when it is overloaded it leads to bursting also yeah now you can see that there are solutions and types of solutions here and you can see how this cell becomes in all these processes this you can see that all the salt here these red color molecules are known as nacl common salt and these blue color molecules are known as water in this case what happens the all the salt molecule common salt molecule comes out so this what happens the cell shrinks and that particular process is called plasmolysis hypotonic solution we'll move on to the next in this you can see that all the molecules of common salt nacl enters inside the cell in what happens you can observe that all the water molecules are coming outside the cell this what happens the molecules are bigger in size compared to water the molecules of nacl are bigger in size so what happen the cell swells up cytolysis so you can see the size of the cell here it's it looks like an orange and this is like a shrinked one this isotonic solution you can see that common salt five molecules of nacl are outside the cell and five molecules are inside the cell 
and you can see that there are 10 molecules of water 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 there are equal amount of common salt inside and outside and even water molecules inside and outside both are same so what happens the no change occurs in the structure of the cell so that's what happens this is the size of the cell so you i hope you might have understood all these with this with all these diagrams we'll move on to the next slide Plasmolysis, cytolysis, endocytosis. Plasmolysis, the contraction of the cell or shrinking of a cell is called plasmolysis. This is commonly observed in making of pickles. As we know that when we make pickles, it won't be in the size. When we add the ingredient inside before making, it would be a bit big. And when we take after a month or a couple of weeks, we see that the ingredient or the material, it becomes, it gets shrinked and it is in smaller size. So that contraction, that process is, that particular process is called plasmolysis. Next, we'll move on to the cytolysis. The bulging or swelling up of a cell is called cytolysis. It is commonly observed in gulab jamun, in sugar syrup. As we already know, as we know that a mom prepare gulab jamun at home and they drop a few gulab jamuns inside the sugar syrup. And if you leave it overnight, you can see that there is a difference in the shape, like the shape, the gulab jamun bulges a bit. And that particular process is called cytolysis, endocytosis. Endocytosis is the invagination of cell membrane followed by pitching or forming a membrane bound vesicle. This is commonly observed in amoeba for grabbing its food. So, we will see a few questions. Question time. The swelling up of cell is called dash. The swelling up of cell is called cytolysis. Give an example for plasmolysis. An example for plasmolysis is making of pickles. What is endomosis? The entering of materials inside the cell through plasma membrane is called endomosis. Plasma membrane is also known as dash and dash. Plasma membrane is also known as cell membrane and plasma lemma. Quasi fluid is also known as quasi fluid is also known as semi fluid or semi solid. Thank you.